हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू प्रियंका लेक्चर्स गॉर्डन एल्फर्ट वॉज बॉर्न इन दर एटीन नाइन सेवन इन इंडियाना विच इज लोकेटेड इन यूएसए ही मेजर इन साइकोलॉजी एंड रिसीव इज पी एच डी एट द एज ऑफ ट्वेंटी फोर Alport gave a humanistic view of personality. The word humanistic means a system of thought which gives more importance to humans rather than supernatural matters. Personality is constantly changing and evolving. It is caused by forces within the person. According to Alport even the behavior which seems to be controlled by external forces is actually controlled by internal forces the primary focus of alport was on the traits and other internal characteristics that determine the behavior of a person he refers to these internal factors as psychological systems according to alport personality is the dynamic organization within the individual of those psychological systems that determine his characteristics and thoughts what is a trait trait is a neuropsychic system that exists but is invisible it is located in certain parts of the nervous system this similar stimuli arouses trait within the person For example a college man's shyness is aroused when he is in a social gathering he tries to avoid these gatherings and run away from these gatherings in our example shyness is a trait which is aroused by peers and parties thus peers and parties are the dissimilar stimuli shyness results in lack of friends avoiding of social gatherings and enjoyment of solitary activities thus these three are the equivalent responses of the trait shyness three types of trait have been given by alport these are cardinal trait central trait and secondary trait cardinal traits are the characteristics that are dominant in a person's life these are master motives and ruling passions for example a person who wants to be powerful will strive to attain a position of power within the society he will even try to dominate his spouse central trait are those characteristics that don't control much of the behavior but are important such traits are the ones that people mention when asked to describe another person for example we may say that someone is intelligent honest funny kind and ambitious secondary traits are the characteristics that are peripheral to the person like preferences For example, a person might love banana or prefer to vacation in Switzerland. Common traits versus personal dispositions. Common traits are categories for classifying groups of people on a particular dimension. For example, some people are more polite than others. Personal dispositions are the unique characteristics of a person that are not shared with others according to alport by focusing on the personal dispositions we can make progress in our understanding of personality personality development in alport's theory personality development is based on the concept of self he substituted the term with the term proprium The various aspects of proprium are 
the bodily self this aspect is seen in infancy infants continuously receive sensory information from their internal organs these sensation helps in self awareness self identity it develops during the first 18 months of life despite the vast changes that occur in our lives there is something same for example the way we perceive ourselves remain the same self esteem self esteem emerges during second and third year of life now children start experiencing pride when they master available tasks and humiliation when they fail self extension it emerges from 4 to 6 years 6 years of age children are mainly concerned with possessions they become more concerned with benefiting other people on the basis of moral principles and ideals self image children learn to do things that other people expect from them and they avoid behaviors that will bring disapproval the self a rational coper this aspect is seen from 6 to 12 years of age children engage in reflective thought they begin to sense their rational powers and they want to exercise them appropriate striving it starts from age 12 onwards we strive for a college degree we try to become best athlete in a given sport basically we try to maintain tensions to achieve important goals to alport this is the highest form of selfhood all these aspects of proprium do not function separately they can operate simultaneously characteristics of mature individuals extension of the sense of self truly mature persons are concerned not only about their own welfare but also about the welfare of others warm relatedness to others they are capable of loving others and have compassion for others self acceptance they avoid over reacting on matters that are beyond their control they have high level of tolerance for frustration realistic perception of reality mature persons have knowledge and skills necessary for effective performance and living self objectification they know their strengths and weaknesses they know themselves unifying philosophy of life they know they have a set of life goals they have a clear self image and a set of standards that guide their conduct this is the book i have referred to for preparing this lecture if you like my video please like and share my video if you want more videos please subscribe to my channel thank you